Greetings viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to another vlog. This is Farmer Angel and you are at the channel Foods for the Youths. So peeps, thanks for tuning in. It's the afternoon now and I'm on the farm sweating. I'm pretty much going to see if I can gather some sweet potato slips to plant. You know, we've been waiting on a dark night. It came just before the um just in the time when the hurricane was supposed to when the hurricane was here. It was the planting time and we had to wait again because it's underground and it is sweet potatoes. So I have to wait until planting time. Now it is the week before the planting date. And uh, let me show you. I had here some sweet potato seeds that I had pulled to plant right in the week of burial. But I didn't get the chance. So they are just here sitting. And you know, some of them are good and some are not so good. So what myself and Solomon is going to do today, peeps, we're gonna pull some sweet potato slips. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to gather sweet potato slips to plant. So come along with, on the journey with me today. And I will demonstrate to you how to pull the sweet potato slips for planting. So the land is here. That's a lettuce land right there as I plowed the other day. This land right here is pumpkin land. Getting it ready for pumpkin. I'm going to dig some holes to accommodate the pumpkins. Um, the land has been burned over here, looking okay too. Sea potato land has been here for a minute now, peeps. Nothing has been done to it. It is still here. Not planting until next week still. So we're preserving it. So this is what the land looks like still. It was raining this morning, but the evening turned out well. So about surely, I'm getting the land burned. Now whenever I pull the sweet potato seeds from over here, that's when I'm going to burn over to the back over here. But I have to get the sweet potato seeds first, peeps. So myself and Solomon, we're going to head through the grass now. I'm going to pull some. They say land soft. Yeah man, yeah. long time this land I wait for you. get something in it, you know. See that peeps, the land is very soft. So we have prepped this land for a minute now peeps. I think we, we did it weeks before burial. Burial came and gone now, over six weeks now. Maybe more than six weeks. Still can't plant the sweet potato yet. But we're going to head out over there and get some sweet potato slips. So we're here now peeps navigating through the bush. So I'm on that side. I'm on this side. And just to see where we can pull the sweet potato sips from. Alright now. Now come over your side, son man. I'm gonna go over peeps. Now some of the grass here has been burnt, but it wasn't burned properly because when it rains sometimes you use the herb the herbicide. And it rains immediately after. It kind of slow down the process. So people, this is a thing they call kashamaka. Look at it. Very dangerous. If one of these prick your peeps, you have to go to the hospital. So you have to be careful of them. And there are a lot in this little area right here. So here is the sweet potatoes under here, peeps. If you look good, you'll see them. See? So we're going to pull it out of the grass and gather them up. I'm going to go deeper and pass you. So this is what it looks like when you pull it. You just cut out the vines. You pull them and we gather them and we're going to put them up there. Alright, so the work starts now, peeps. So I'll see you in a few. I'll give you an update. Peeps, I just want you to look here for a second. Just look. You see this type of plant that is here? Shima Maka Peeps. Look at it. All I hear is covered with it. And the potato is underneath it, Peeps. Now this Shima Maka is very good in the Peeps. It's good for 22 different ailments, they said. So, it's medicine, but it is bush to me right now. Weeds. 
So we're gonna get rid of it. So here is someone man pulling some of the sweet potato slips. She just hold on to the vine and pull it. There's nothing accurate about it. Only thing you want to be accurate is when you are gonna cut it again to plant it. I'll show you that in another video. Alright, so here you go pulling them. So if you look right here peeps, you'll see the sweet potato vines. See? This is it. I'm just gonna pull on it. Pull on it, see? And it comes out like this. These are some nice thick vines, see? Nice ones. Alright. We can see above everything in our one, not you? Mm -hmm. Alright. So I'm just gonna pull them out, peeps. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to be careful because this is not sweet potato peas, but it is a running plant also. But here it is. Alright, so we gathering them right here. I'll show you what we get in a few. And the greatest thing about going through this year, people pulling the potato slips is definitely that this most definite that you're gonna find some sweet potatoes. See, this is what I found so far, and I'm pretty sure that there are more sweet potatoes here. But I didn't come to dig it, so I'm gonna put this one right here because I can't get that to eat. Now, the reason why. I am transferring the sweet potato from here peeps is because right here at the land is very very cool very very cool it is not as hot as up that part of the land so this is the view of the land from down here you can see where I'm, I've been burning and I said I have to burn to all the way over there so We have to move the sweet potato from this part of the land where it's so cool and put it right there in the middle where it's much hotter. Alright? So yes, peeps, all of this land I want to turn into pumpkin peeps for now. Because of the whole weather conditions and stuff now. See, I can't even see sound money somewhere over there. Yeah, so you can get up there. So sweet potato is all in here, peeps. And I'm going to transfer all in here. <laughs> but... Even though when I plant the pumpkin peeps, I'm going to still look out for sweet potato because I know it's here and they're going to grow, keep growing. That is how farming is peeps. I'm going to pull these. They go all the way over there, see that? I'm going to pull this one first. Mm -hmm. so yes peeps. Quest for sweet potato slips, you know? Remember you are a part of the journey and you'll always see the outcome whether it's good or bad. Good. So here we are now peeps. This is what we have gathered. So let me show you what's going on. Yes, I'm breathing very heavily. So peeps, when you're pulling the sweet potato slips, you don't want the old ones like this. This is a, you can see it look old you want the younger looking vines the ones that are young and healthy and strong so these old ones right here you don't really want them you want the younger looking type right now some of these have some worm holes in it so we have to treat it before we plant it or sometimes when you plant it peeps um they will come back normal you just have to do the necessary precautions and follow the procedures and you'll be alright. So Monday. So sweet potato beds peeps. One step closer to planting. So we get all the slips here. And so man, I saw no left them, you know. Because yeah. when the sun gets up over the sun, no, you need better we put them back at the No, but then it's not going to cover them. Yes, and all right. Oh, I can put some of them tomorrow, like grass or so. Yeah, Alright. So, yes, peeps, thanks for coming on the journey with us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making these fruits for the youths. Remember, gossip is a broke people's sport. Love your friends, love your neighbors. And fruits for the youths, eh? Wow, good.